All right, so let's see. Muted. Muted. Headphones are set up. Audio test, one, two. Game audio looks good. My audio looks good. Stream is live. Recording's live. I think that's everything. So what is up, everybody? Hey, I am Existential Turtle on Twitch. I'm a variety streamer, and I like to play video games and talk about stuff. So I'm getting started way later than I want to today, but I didn't get home until not very long ago. And because I didn't really have time to prep any of the new games that I'm thinking about playing, I'm just going to play some casual Hitman today because Destiny has not been working out for me the past couple of days. Like, it's actually been working out really badly. So, like, like I keep getting such a lag and horrible connections to the Bungie servers. And it's not my internet. It's 100% like on their end. But it's, uh, it's been making it difficult for me to uh, successfully play. So, yeah, I'm going to go into Hitman today. I'm going to fart around a little bit. But I'm not really going to fart around, even though I just, I say that a lot. Uh, I'm actually going to see if I can get Silent Assassin uh, suit only on a mission that I don't already have it on. So yeah, Mumbai. I did this mission for the first time, uh, I don't know, like a week ago? Something like that? And I enjoyed it. And I think I figured out some uh, good routes to potentially get Silent Assassin suit only. Although, I don't know how practical those routes will be, but... I'm looking forward to trying it out. So let's see. Uh, starting on Main Street would probably be the best, unless I can start somewhere near... Ooh, the boat. I think the boat actually leads me to where I want to go. That might be closer. So let's start on the boat. If I'm wrong, I'll just reload and I'll start at the... Um, what was it, Riverside? No, Main Street. <laughs> Where'd I get Riverside from? Uh... I'm going to switch out to my classic suit. I don't think it matters. I think any of the suits count, but I just like to wear 47 signature suit. Now, if I'm going for Silent Assassin, I think... I don't think there's really... I mean, I'm probably going to need a lockpick. I'm definitely going to need coins. Definitely going to need coins. And hopefully I can smuggle... Hmm, doesn't look like I could smuggle close to where I want to be. But this isn't that important. But I will smuggle this... I feel like the homeless tent might be close. Could be wrong. I'm going to smuggle... Let's see. No explosives, because that'll ruin Silent Assassin. No knives. Can I bring a blunt? Where's my fish? Ah, bring in another set of coins. You can never have too many coins in Hitman. Switch out to the ICA-19 Chrome. Alright. Master difficulty, as always. Uh, it's the only way to really play. So my first target is going to be Dawood Rangan. Because I... The first time I played this mission, I climbed up to his tower and very easily and quickly got up to the top of the tower. A uh, couple of hiccups, like... Um, because I did have a, a disguise, so I was able to just walk past a couple of dudes. But I mean, there's a pretty straightforward route to get straight to the target. And once I was up there, it wasn't even that difficult to potentially get him alone. So it shouldn't be the hardest thing I've ever done. Theoden! Ah, you keep building that wall. <laughs> How are you doing, Theoden? Hey, I just got an achievement. Have no fear, my fellow who weeps, because I am here. Uh, starting... Uh, okay, I smuggled something in, so I guess that's the achievement. Ooh! Right out of the gate, I got a couple of fish! Well, that's awesome. Huh. So, is that the tower? Yeah, that's the tower I need to get to, okay. So this wasn't quite as close as I was hoping. But, I mean, this could still work out as a good starting location. I don't think I'm, uh... Actually, this will work out as a great starting location, because, uh... I got my coins right here. Nice. So now I'm swimming in coins. I got two fish for throwing. I have that wall for a month. Listen, have to use it as much I as possible. Hey, I understand, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. 
I've marked the headquarters. If, if I had some cool emotes, I'd be using them too. Alright, so... Going this way, I think would probably be... There's two dudes. I could probably take them out pretty easy. Wait for that one to turn around. You know, the movie based on real events. It's about a pirate seeing the city of Mumbai from some sort of witch. How is that based on... <laughs> oh, a lead pipe. All right, let's lure them over here. Oh yeah, they heard it. Hey, message from Patrick. We are talking about uh, Legends of Tomorrow, so uh, he probably is responding with uh, something like that. All right, there's no good place to hide a body here. So hopefully nobody just stumbles upon the corpse. <laughs> I say corpse, I'm not actually going to kill him. Alright, fish. Damn it, that's what I was afraid of. Somebody saw. Alright, so that already ruined Silent Assassin, so I'm going to restart mission. I have four gifted subscriptions. People are just giving them to me. Hey, <laughs> that works. I've been gifted uh, one subscription in my time on Twitch. And it was pretty cool to get that, that gifted subscription. Because I can't really afford to, uh, to subscribe to anybody. Uh, but I, as of this moment in time, I don't have any subscriptions to anybody. So I don't have any like special emotes or anything. All right. So now that I know there's some uh, random a-hole who's gonna see me knock out that guy, I think I gotta knock out that random a-hole first. I got around 10 in the last six months. Damn, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> people, people just like immediately like you. They're like, damn, I wanna give that guy stuff. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Our intel suggests the maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city. So this building is actually a building I need to break into later. The crows on your map. All right, so this is the guy that messed me up. <laughs> Give me that coin. All right, theoretically, nobody's gonna see him. Oh, oh, is that guy coming this way? Alright, I'm gonna lure that guy out. And take care of him. <laughs> With a fish. I'm just waiting for that door to close. There we go. <laughs> that never gets old. Uh, probably should not walk around with a machine gun, actually, now that I think about that. Ooh, beach house key. Okay, cool. And there's a random third target. No ah, crap. Well. What the hell? What the hell is that sucks. Okay. Restart. So I gotta drag the body away before he investigates the distraction too? Or I gotta let the other guy turn on the generator first. Okay. See, the moment they see a body is the moment Silent Assassin's over. Because <laughs> they can't see any bodies. So a person knocked out, that ruins the whole thing if somebody sees them. That's what makes uh, Silent Assassin and especially Silent Assassin suit only really difficult is no mistakes. That's what also makes it really fun, because it's relatively challenging to do that. Relatively. Oh, right. Here we go. Coins. Gotta watch out for that first rando. 
47. Okay, good. And then take out this guy, take out the other guy, take out the third guy. That should be good. Give me that. I'm going to be an efficient machine. Hmm, that might not be good. Alright. Okay. Nope, don't do that. Fish. A lockpick. They <laughs> threw a fish at him through the door. Hey, whatever works. So I should be... I just gotta drag that third body in here and I should be good. Actually, at that point. And I don't think... I don't think that guy will see me drag the body. He is pretty close. Nope, okay. Oh! It's a good thing I realized those guys were there. I think this... Yeah, that leads me downstairs. Alright, I'll take the iron. That could come in handy. That's a throwable melee. Hmm. Alright, I don't think they're going to come into the house. So I could probably leave these bodies here and I will be just fine. So let's drag that... Th uh, did I drag him in here already? Yeah, I did. Okay, never mind. Indian tour results. Hip? What? Alright. So now that they've taken out all of them, it's time to head to the, the construction site. Pipe. Hey, oh yeah, the other guy has no idea. Okay. Okay. That body should be good to leave there. Because there's nobody conscious over there to see it anymore. Theoretically. As for this guy. I don't think anybody can see him. There's only one way to know. Alright, I haven't been outed as a criminal. Nobody's shouting at me to stop doing that. That's always a good sign. I'm so glad I don't have to uh, work in the next three days. That is awesome, man. Uh, I am jealous. Uh, I, I, I never get that many days off in a row, so I'm super jealous. <laughs> like, I really don't... The most I ever really get off is like one day in a row. And that's not even a, in a row. It's just one day. <laughs> And it's never enough for me to, like, unwind or relax. Alright, now we're getting... to the dangerous...
Alright, that guy shouldn't be able to see me. As for this, I have a theory how I could get around these two. Uh, where, didn't I pick up a toy, uh, thing? I guess I picked up a brick. Alright. Huh. Oh, hey. Hey, Chazzer! How you doing? I just saw you popped in. By the way, do you guys in the U.S. have any holiday on the 6th of December? Um, no holiday I can think of, Theoden. Um, is it a holiday where you are right now? Yeah, nothing I can think of off the top of my head. But I mean, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means that I can't think of it. Okay. I snuck past that guy. Wait for him to turn around. I'm doing, I'm doing all right, Chazzer. Um, I'm in a little bit of uh, pain from work. Like, my bones hurt. But, uh, yeah. I'm having a pretty good day. Uh, overall. Just had some meat from hunting. Oh, good for you. Dragon! You got meat from hunting. And I had peanuts from the dollar store. <laughs> oh, I knocked something over. Okay. <laughs> I praise you at Dragon Soul of Fire. <laughs> Hey, dragon. How you doing, girl? Alright, let's see. I don't see any cameras. And I don't think that dude right there will see me. Hmm. Can I sneak behind this guy? I had a bagel. <laughs> Hey, a bagel's a good meal. Although, I do agree with Chazzer. Cereal's kind of the way to go. Uh, I've got some uh, cinnamon, toast, uh, cinnamon Toast Crunch and um, Honey Nut Cheerios for tomorrow. Cereal can be whenever you want it to be, Dragon. I could have cereal right now and I'd be the happiest person in the world. All right. All right, I don't see anybody else. So this is the guy. What? Who threw a shovel? All right, I'll iron him. <laughs> ah, CT Crunch is the best. Hopefully nobody sees this. Oh, oh crap. It didn't lock on properly, okay. So I just distracted him in a bad direction. So let's really confuse this guy. Oh, you got your interview tomorrow. Cool. <laughs> that guy was so confused. He didn't know what was going on. Hmm, I don't think anybody will see a body if I leave it here. Ooh, Cocoa Puffs, nice. So we in Europe don't have Christmas connected with Santa Claus, but rather with the birth of Jesus. Yeah. But on the 6th of December, we celebrate St. Nicholas, who was basically Santa Claus. This is... Well... Uh, uh, Christmas is Jesus' birthday here, if you believe in that kind of thing. Um, uh, because not everybody believes in that. Um, I don't personally, but, you know, I mean, there are a lot of people who do celebrate that here, though. 
in America, or in the United States, uh, celebrate Christmas as Jesus' birthday. Um, I personally don't even celebrate uh, Christmas. I, I think it's terrible. But that's just my personal opinion. I think Christmas is uh, one of the worst days of the year. <laughs> but that's just my personal opinion. There's nothing wrong with it. People can celebrate it and be happy with it all they want. Like, I'm not, I'm not dissing Christmas. So, like, I don't want anybody to think I'm dissing it. It's just not my jam. <laughs> we always open presents on the 24th of December. Yeah, uh, people people here also open presents on the 24th. We, there's like a little tradition that a lot of families do where um, they open some of the presents, like at, at least one present on the 24th, and then they open the rest of the presents on the 25th. Um, <laughs> the PJ tradition. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I never really had any of those traditions. Like when I was a kid, I guess we had the uh, the opening one present on the 24th. And then, um, and then opening the rest on the 25th. But uh, when I was a kid, we also didn't have that many presents because uh, we didn't have a lot of money. So, you know, we kind of just got what we got. <laughs> There we go. Hopefully nobody sees me hanging here. <laughs> it's because you can't get games for Christmas anymore because you got older. That's not true. What are you talking about, Chazzer? You can get whatever you want for Christmas. My mom and I were shopping today, and she was looking at a Ninja Turtle hoodie. And she's like, you wouldn't want that. And I'm like, yeah, I'd wear that. <laughs> I'd wear that proudly. What do I care? I've got no shame. <laughs> like, you can get old, but it doesn't mean you have to grow up, Chazzer. That, that's uh, something you'll learn as you get older. Is, uh, you know, getting older doesn't necessarily mean growing up. Okay, good. She didn't see me. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Dragon. I'm gonna buy games no matter how old I get. <laughs> I agree with Dragon completely on that one. Alright, so now that I'm in the building, I know I need to go that way. But I'm not sure... Forever a child. Damn right. Pika Pika. Hmm. Alright, this was a lot easier when I had a disguise. <laughs> Alright, so I don't see any cameras. People will get older, but don't grow up. Some people. Some people grow up. Uh, some people grow up hard. And, like, some people like me just uh, choose not to. Alright, I'm in a public bathroom now. I'm still a kid. Aren't you actually a kid, though? Didn't you say you weren't even in high school yet? Like, aren't you, like, middle school or something? Uh, Chazzer? I could swear you said you, you weren't even in high school yet. Or was it you weren't in college? I forget what it was. Um, I, I could swear that was you, but maybe I'm mixing you up with somebody else. Alright, so now that I'm in the bathroom, I'm at least in a safe spot. Okay, middle, yeah. I thought so. I thought so. I'm looking up Disney interview questions because of how nervous I am. Send help. Uh, Dragon, the only th advice I could give you, and I have no idea if you would even take this advice, the only advice I would give you is to not overthink it. So I, I personally wouldn't look up uh, like Disney interview questions because you might psych yourself out and you might overthink things. And then suddenly, let's say they don't ask you a question you really prepare for, then you're going to be psyched out even more because you prepared for certain questions. Personally, I would just go into the interview and just be yourself. Uh, be chill, be relaxed, um, and just, yeah, give the most personable interview you can. All right. 
That chick is the only one that'll actually screw me over, so I think I need to lure her in here. Alright, don't be the guy. Don't be the guy. Be the one on the left. Yes! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> yes, investigate the coin. <laughs> what is that? I didn't throw it far enough, so that's going to hurt me a little bit. Alright, let's try that. And then let's read chat real quick. Go is Mickey Mouse. Let's see, I'm not going to overthink, but I need to at least be prepared for the harder ones. That's not necessarily true, though, Dragon. Uh... If they're going to hire you, they're going to hire you based on, on who you already are right now and what you already know. Um, like, sometimes there's such a thing as being too prepared for something. Um, and sometimes it also shows in interviews when people prep a little too much. Like, they, they want you to be more yourself. I don't know if I should wear my ears there. I wouldn't, personally, Dragon. It would probably come off as a little unprofessional. Uh... Yes, it's Disneyland, but it, I, I imagine it would come off as a bit unprofessional, so I wouldn't. But it could also be seen as, hey, this is a fun person. Yeah, but they are still a company. Uh, they are still a company and they are still a business, and I don't feel like that would go over really well. Um, I think they would look at that and be like, wow, this is a, uh, this is a kid, and I, I don't think we're going to hire her. I could be wrong. Maybe maybe you're right, Dragon, but I feel like they are still a professional company. And also, Disney is pretty psychotic with how they treat their employees. So, honestly, you, get, you if you feel like you should do it, I say go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm not telling you don't do something. <laughs> like, you, you follow your heart. If your heart leads you to wear Mickey ears... Hmm... All right, I need to lure her somewhere else. There we go. Also, it helps that I can't see my damn radar. So that's actually really messing things up for me. Ah, this is frustrating. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I need to get her away from the door so that that one guy doesn't hear and investigate. Was that? There we go. <laughs> Got her. That was di harder than it should have been, but it worked. You chose not to. Are you Peter Pan? Don't try to dodge it. What? <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Bring a kid with you. Dress up and give him a hug to show you need the job and show you love kids. Eh. I'm not gonna... It would be funny. It would be funny. But uh, it would be more funny for like the... Uh, they would be laughing like, ha 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 ha. We're not hiring her. <laughs> Like, I, it'd be a fun story to tell people if you weren't looking for a job. <laughs> I'm just looking out for you, Dragon. I just don't think that would go over really well. I could be 100% completely wrong, but I just, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Alright, I gotta lure this guy in here, too. Ooh, a wrench. What the hell? Alright. Yes, investigate that noise. <laughs> yeah, but people often say things, Dragon, like, I said I wasn't gonna, and then they do it, so... Yeah. Just be careful. 
go to the mirror and watch Kevin Hart. First time I cuss. And repeat everything he says to the teacher and say that to the interviewer. That could, yeah. Kevin Hart is a pretty, uh, he's pretty badass. So, Disney might be a fan of Kevin Hart. Has Kevin Hart been in any Disney movies? I'm not sure. Maybe. I need this job. I'm going to be a little professional. Yeah. You should be professional, unfortunately. Watch the video. It's funny. Watch anything by Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart's a funny guy. <laughs> Alright, I need this guy to walk away. And then I'm just going to walk up behind him. And hit him with uh, an iron. <laughs> oh, ow. Alright, go to bed. Alright, so I feel like I got the two big threats out of the way. Get my iron back. Uh, I didn't drop any coins. <laughs> Alright, that woman right there worries me a little bit. But I feel like taking her out would be almost unnecessary. I mean, there is a camera on the other side of that door, so I do need to fire a gunshot. A silent gunshot, but a gunshot. So maybe I should lure that woman with the wings over to me. <laughs> Somehow. I don't want to knock out everybody in this damn dressing room. That'd be a little overkillish. But I feel like that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Hmm. Overflow the sink. Poop. Okay, good. Nobody else heard the iron, so nobody's going to investigate that noise. This guy's really freaking out over a flooded sink. And if they ask why you want this job, just pull out your wallet and show them it's empty. Yeah, that's fair. I also do want it for legit reasons. Uh, yeah, you want it for legit reasons. But you also want money. <laughs> so, you know, that is a reason. But you want it for more legit reasons than you do unlegit. All right, wait for this guy to crouch down. Oh, good night. Drag him in the bathroom. It isn't creepy at all that I'm dragging a man wearing wings into a bathroom stall. There we go. I swear, it's not creepy. Like, Disney is a really good respected business to advance me once I try going to the graphic design career. Might even be able to get hired there. Yeah, possibly. Disney, for all of its folly and for all of its issues, does take care of its employees from everything I've have uh, I have read and been told. Hmm. I feel like I lost an iron. What happened to my other iron? Oh, there it is. It's right there. I knew I had two. Okay, so let's try this again. And let's try to get that woman. Oh, somebody took the bait and it wasn't the person I wanted to. That's unfortunate. Yeah, money. I want to stay in Cali. I'm going back to Cali, Cali. You used to live in Cali, Chazer? Uh, yeah, we're Cali over here. Also, they may pay for my college. And nice, lol, I don't want to leave. I'm Okay, Chazer, uh, what do you mean by that? I'm going back to Cali? I don't think so. Like, uh, that sentence is a little confusing. What, what does that mean exactly? Alright, so this woman was not supposed to come in here. So this woman... 
messed up my plans a little bit. <laughs> Mama said, Spock, you out. Uh, get in here. Uh, I'll grab her other leg. Nope, wrong body. There we go. Nope, still wrong body. Oh boy. <laughs> These are really small bathrooms. There we go. <laughs> this is morbid. Oh, it's a song from LL Cool J. Okay. Yeah, I don't know much of LL Cool J's music, but uh, I, I am very familiar with LL Cool J. So, that's pretty cool. Ooh, pipe. Yes, please. Are these giant bathrooms? I don't think this is a very big bathroom. <laughs> Not compared to the bathrooms that Hitman tends to hide bodies in. They tend to be the size of, like, uh, this. Yet alone this. Yeah, very square toilets. Like, super square. Alright, hopefully nobody comes to investigate this. Ah, all right, whatever. I guess I'm taking out the whole room. <laughs> I mean, that's a strategy. It's not what I wanted to do, but that's what I'm going to do. So I just got to wait for him to crouch down and uh, clean up the mess. Because apparently they all think it's their job to clean up the mess. <laughs> that only went through the wall a little bit. All right. Let's drag him in the other bathroom. The one bathroom is getting a little crowded. Come on. Grab his legs. Damn it, Hitman. <laughs> there. Will the door close? That's a yes. Okay. All right, let's try this one more time. I think this guy will hear it. Yep. Oh, it's a lady. Thought it was a lady guy. It's just a lady. I'm going back to Indiana. Indiana, here I come. All right, get your ass in here. So I've cleared out a room I didn't even want to clear out. So that was not part of the plan. <laughs> oh, she face planted on the on the on the counter. Oh, that's got to be disgusting. So few people wash their hands after going to the bathroom. Like I guarantee you, like that's got to be gross. Like, if you actually knew the ratio of people that actually wash their hands when leaving the bathroom, you'd be horrified. It is a really small number. Okay, so now I'm in a good position to take out that one chick. And I feel like I should probably do it on this sink. I don't think she'll hear it, but... She might come investigate. Oh, she heard it. Oh, snap. Cool. <laughs> I don't know why all these dancers think it's their job to clean up the bathroom. But all right. So get on the ground to clean up the mess. Because apparently you all have towels on you. Poop. Not what I meant to do. The lock-on is not exactly the most efficient lock-on I've ever had. So that sucks. Oh. 
All right, I'm luring her back in. <laughs> it's a good thing the AI is really stupid sometimes. It's just like, didn't I just turn off that sink? Eh, I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate it again. <laughs> yeah, whatever. All right, hopefully this time I can get the lock on to work. There we go. <laughs> like, yeah, no matter how many times they investigate something, they will continue to investigate the same thing over and over again. It's not very smart. It's actually like horror movie 101. Don't investigate the creepy noise, especially when it happens multiple times. You don't believe me? Watch any horror movie ever made. Come on. Just roll over, woman. <laughs> well, the door closes. Okay. All that matters is that the door closes. That's a lot of unconscious bodies. Alright, she's the only thing I need to even remotely worry about. And I don't even think she turns around. All right, and I don't see any cameras. A lot of dudes down there, though. Uh, any places to... Yes, there is a place to hide a body. So I've cleared out these two rooms. I didn't need to clear out that room, but I'm not upset that I did. That, that could come in handy. All right, you're going to wake up real confused there, darling. Hmm. All right. I'm not going to go that way, but at least now I know I can. All right. There should be a camera straight ahead. Yeah, there it is. Oh, what the hell? Was somebody seeing me? All right. Silenced weapon. Camera destroyed. I don't think either of them investigate that. I do need to take out both of those guys. Because they're blocking my path to the top floor. Those should be the last two major guys I need to take out. Hmm. Alright, pair of scissors. Probably shouldn't grab the pair of scissors, actually. I don't want to accidentally kill somebody. Alright, so I need to lure at least one of them over here. And at this point, the best way to do that is a fish. Ah, they heard it. Haha. <laughs> is that a fish? Who throws a fish? Just in case he opens the door. He didn't open the door. Alright, he should take that bait. Oh, nope, hide. I couldn't get a good lock on. Okay, I think he heard that. I'm so close to the wall behind me, I couldn't get a good lock on. Alright, once he turns around, wrench. <laughs> Alright. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Get all my coins back. Drag his ass into that box. 
Just like the other people, he will wake up very confused. But he will wake up. Because I'm not a murderer. Yet. I'm just a guy who likes Bollywood. I actually do like Bollywood. Some interesting stuff. Uh, depending on the Bollywood. Alright, so I think that was the only camera... I'm a little hesitant to move out just because there may be another one. But I still need to get this guy's attention. <laughs> and the best way to do that is with a fish. He heard it. Alright, and then I'll get his attention with an iron. Ooh, speaking of iron, uh... And also, speaking of Disney, uh, Dragon, tomorrow, the new Avengers trailer should be dropping. So we should finally get our first look at uh, what the Marvel Universe looks like after uh, after everything that happened. I'm actually really excited. I want to. I want to see the. Uh, I want to see the trailer super bad. Just come out and put it on. All right. All right. Turn around, buddy. Turn around, bright eyes, because every now and then I fall apart. And I need you now tonight. Oh. I hope Thanos burns. Thanos is going to go down, uh, but the thing is, how? But yeah, Thanos is definitely going down. There's no way he's making it out of that movie. There's just, there's no way. Like, come on. Thanos is going to get his ass kicked. And I need you now tonight. And I need you more than ever. And if you only hold me to her. Get your body in the corner. Alright, so if somebody walks in here, they won't see that body unless they walk all the way over here. <laughs> and I need you more than ever. I ch hey, 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 I wasn't correcting you, dragon. Your lyrics may not have been accurate, but they were still beautiful. Alright, so I don't think there are any other cameras in there, but I need to be careful. Because I don't know for sure. A camera could screw up my entire run. Now, I know I could disable all the cameras by shooting something in that room. Uh, and I need to do that. Real bad. <laughs> so I'm going to get my fish back. Because that's the most important item I have in this game. Yeah, I, I hear that song all the time. That song is like really close to my heart. <laughs> and I need you now tonight. And I need you more than ever. Hmm, alright, 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 alright. Ooh! Is that it? I think that's it. Hang on. Yeah! I think this should disable all security cameras. Haha, <laughs> it worked! Now I need to run away. <laughs> because... Somebody just shot their security system. How very bizarre. Close! Come on, buddy. Oh, thank God. Okay. I can see that dude right there investigating. So I wanted to make sure he didn't come in the bathroom and find a corpse. Not a corpse, because he's not dead. Damn. I really piled these guys on. Alright. So now I've disabled all security cameras. That's going to be a huge weight off my, uh, my shoulders. Because now I don't even need to worry about security cameras. So I can just go walk in this room now without worrying. That's the only reason I didn't come in here earlier, is uh, I didn't know if there was a security camera. 
So I'm going to grab these sodas. They are great for distractions. And great for knocking some mofo out. I'm not grabbing the kitchen knife. I'm going to grab the soda can. Because yes, I can. Another soda can. Another soda can. Ooh! The, tub of, uh, the tube of paint. I don't know what that's used for, but that's used for something. Alright. So now that I've done that, it's time to climb to the roof. Alright, so far I'm doing pretty good. Hmm. Alright, I don't think either of them goes this direction. I don't think there's anybody outside who will see me climbing, so climb. Climb, Hitman. Climb. And this should allow me to climb straight to the penthouse. Well, not the penthouse. This is a construction site. But effectively the penthouse. Thank God they couldn't see me. Yeah, that guy. That's the guy I need to take out. Somehow, magically, he doesn't know that I'm not supposed to be here. Which doesn't make sense. Ah, he saw me! <laughs> Damn it! Well, there goes Silent Assassin. Ah, uh, that's the thing about Silent Assassin. The smallest thing in the world can mess it up. Hey, I got, an, I got a challenge. Huh, all right, cool. I got something. Now I'm just killing because they fucked up my silent assassin by seeing me. Hmm. I'm trying to think how I could do that differently in the future. Maybe choke him out and just drag his body over here as quick as I can. I don't know, they all responded pretty quickly. Hmm. Try to think of more efficient ways to do that. Alright, well, in any case, uh, let's just restart. Unfortunately, that's, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Say la vie. He's got to roll with it. Alright, so since I don't want to do the same thing over and over again, I'm actually going to do a slightly different thing this time around because I know how I'm going to get that guy. I just need to refine my, my method. I'm going to do basically the same thing. I just got to take out that guy and that floor a little bit differently. But, uh... I'm going to start with uh, one of the other targets. So that way the stream isn't watching me do the same thing over and over and over and over again. Now there is a target I can take out over here. I actually think like right about here. I 
I just need to get in that building. So I need to take out that guy. And I need to start off the same way that I did before. Like, I need to take out this guy. I need to take out those two dudes in the building. I love that I turned it on with a fish. <laughs> or turned it off. Alright, investigate the generator, my good man. Yes. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So I've gotten good at clearing out this area. Just drag all the bodies in here. One of them has a key that I need. And there it is. Beach house key. Actually, I don't think I need it, but I want it. So I'm going to grab it. I'd love a beach house. You kidding? That'd be amazing. Holy crap, I didn't realize there were people right there before. I'm lucky they didn't see me last time. Alright, so I'll leave all of them there. And let's just go straight downstairs. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. Alright, let those two guards leave. I don't think there will be any cameras down here. Alright, let's see. A photograph and a note addressed to Sagar. There we go. I'm done down this here. Looks like a very <laughs> of the maelstrom. With this in hand. Picking him out in a crowd should be possible. Now I just gotta find him. So I just did the hard thing, which was getting the, uh, the information I needed. It took me a long time last time. Not so much this time. Please close. Thank you. Alright, so I want to say he's somewhere... 47? That man there. He resembles the maelstrom. I think this so I might be the guy? No, it's not the guy. Is it? That is not the no, it's not the guy. Hmm. I know he's somewhere over here. I... Hmm. I don't think it's either. No, I think it might be this guy. That looks familiar. No, Damn it. That isn't the maelstrom. You're not the guy. That wasn't him. No. You're definitely not the guy. Shame. Not the maelstrom. Huh. I know he walks this direction. Unless he's random? It's possible he's random. That is not the maelstrom. Alright, that guard needs to leave me alone. I think that guy might be the Maelstrom. Alright, I'm blending in a crowd, so he shouldn't see me. Nope. No, that's not him. Oh, I think that might be him. That looks like a shit bag. I think that might be him. That was Damn it. Him. No. All right. 
Damn, I thought I thought he was over here last time. Maybe he's randomized on where he spawns. Which would be really interesting. Yes, I am just blending in with this crowd. Do not pay no attention to me. Alright, let's see. Let's go check out those three. I don't think it's either of any of them, but yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Come on, scan. Found him. That nose, those eyes, that can only be Wazir Kali, the maelstrom. All right, so now I need to follow my target and figure out a good place to take him out. Because last time I don't think he was over here, and I had a good idea of where I was going to take him out. But apparently that's not going to work anymore. So now I just need to follow Waz. He also looks different. I swear he was wearing a pink shirt the last time. I think he was wearing a pink shirt last time. He does not look the same. That's fascinating. But hopefully he goes along a similar route. So I could plan out my my place to uh, take him out. Yeah, don't mind the bald guy listening into your conversation. All right, he goes to an area like a homeless camp, and I want to say out there was a good place to take him out. Yeah, out there. I just gotta take out those two dudes on the left. And I could lure him over there. So I gotta take out those two dudes. Probably that chick who's having a seizure. What the hell was she doing? I don't know. I definitely gotta take out those two guys though. Got to figure out a good place to do that. Hmm. Honestly, this building would be a good place to do it. I just got to police those bodies. Whoop. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to crush your head into something random NPC. <laughs> Alright. Nobody should stumble upon their bodies here. Because I don't think anybody will go up and down those stairs unless I cause a commotion. And if I cause a commotion, I have already failed, so, you know. So hopefully no commotions. Ow. There we go. Uh, yeah, they probably shouldn't find a gun. There we go. Alright, I'm not seeing any guns. Uh, can of expired spaghetti sauce. I'll take it. Alright, now somehow I need to magically lure those two guys over here. Oh! Ah, that's not good. He'll see me. Hmm. Hey, Chazzer's back. What were you up to, Chazzer? Alright, let's try spaghetti sauce.
Nope, they didn't care. All right. That guy cared. Well, that guy got down here real fast. All right. Well, I'm going to take this guy out. Ah, bath. Nice. I'm going to take this guy out when he goes back. Yes, I'm just a random bald man standing in the street. Do not mind me. Mwahaha. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Alright, my staircase of bodies. There you go. Enjoy your friends. They are now your family. Is anyone else in chat? A uh, dragon was in chat, but I think she went off to go do something. So, uh, I don't think there is, Chazzer. Which, you know, it happens. You just gotta roll with it. That's what I've learned. Hey, dragon's still there. Okay. Where'd the can go? Well, that sucks. All right. I think I lost my can of spaghetti sauce. I'm still listening, sorry. You make it seem like I deserted you. No, it, it's... I thought you just, like, went to go do something. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Oh, you didn't know Dragon was a she? Yeah. Dragon's a she. Dragon is a pretty awesome she. She's pretty cool. Yeah, that's right. Walk away. Walk away. See what happens. This is what happens. Fish. Give me your gun. Give me your body. Join your new friends. This is called the stair crew. Here you go. Take the gun. All right, unfortunately, my sp spaghetti sauce seems to be gone. But also, everyone in that building seems to be gone. So this this could work. Oh, they aren't real NPCs. I thought you were a man. Yeah, she's right. Online, it really doesn't matter. You got that from Ready Player One. Probably not. I doubt she got that from Ready Player One. Um, she probably just got that because uh, the truth is, online, it doesn't really matter what you are. But it is true. They did say that in Ready Player One. But I doubt she got that from Ready Player One. <laughs> God, I watched that movie a lot, uh, Dragon. Ready Player One, that movie hit a lot of the right notes. I thought. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that one, Dragon. Like, like, whenever I'm like just talking in people's chats, like they don't know who or what I am. And I don't really care what they think I am. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Met twice. I loved it. I thought Ready Player One was fantastic. Alright, so these two guys... ...are not real NPCs. If you look in the bottom left, there's no circle uh, denoting them as uh, characters I can interact with. 
So they shouldn't care if I lure that guy over. So now I just gotta wait for him to walk back. I want the bool. Ah, the book. Okay. The book. Like, what's a bool? Dragon, I don't know what that is. Ooh, car battery. Yes, please. Yeah, see how I can't even lock on to these two randos? I mean, the, these two randos will still give me away. But yeah, they're not real NPCs. Like, they don't actually... It's, it's weird how it works in Hitman. Alright, so that guy... I just need him to walk back over here. Ooh, waffles. And in the morning, I'm making waffles. <laughs> that boulder, that is a nice boulder. <laughs> Points if you know the movie. And in the morning, I'm making waffles. My brother. <laughs> what? Oh, just walked in. Okay. Wearing makeup. That's not so weird. That's not so weird. Look at David Bowie. Everything he did, he did wearing makeup. Check that out. I don't want any sense. Wait, he has a bodyguard? Alright, if I can get rid of her, that's still a step in the right direction. So let's lure her out of there. Or more accurately, let's try to lure her out of there. He did it better than I can. But I don't wear makeup, so there's not much to be with, but I still need to learn a little. This is... Chazzer, we're all human beings. We're all naturally ugly. It's... People can pretty themselves up all they want. We're all naturally ugly. Crap, I'm losing her. There we go. I need to get her in here. With the army of bodies. <laughs> oh, what the... There we go. Alright, I don't think she knows that I'm not supposed to be in here. So I can just wait for her to turn around? Granted, she's breaking and entering too. So I don't feel so bad. Oh, hey, Turtle, my friend is trying to convince me to cut my hair all the way to my shoulders, and I might do it. You should totally do it. Mm -hmm. You've been talking about cutting your hair for a while. You should just do it. Oh. Oh, she crashed into... What was that, a bong? She crashed into something. All right. Oh. Yeah, um, you've been talking about that for a while. Uh, you said the main reason you didn't do it because you didn't have the money to get a proper haircut? Yeah, and you could donate your hair. Hell, some places buy human hair. So you might even be able to just sell it. Make some money. Like, people buy human hair for doll hair all the time. 
Which is weird, but, you know, hey, to each their own. Well, I'm not that ugly, but I'm kind of ugly, so I'm cute and will built because of soccer hunting and boxing, my favorite. If they make two full wigs, that wasn't good. That's not that short, dragon. That's not that short. Alright, I feel like I'm missing a coin. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I lost a coin, but I got rid of one of the uh, NPCs. Oh, wait, there it is. Ah! Got all my coins. I just gotta wait for him again. Yeah, I might cut it all the way now. Hey, that could potentially be a good look for you, dragon. Like, um... Yeah, your hair is to your waist. I've seen the picture. Uh, you have very long hair. Um, no, sh I, li I like short hair, personally. So, I think that could look very good. You should totally do it. So... My puppy... Is just the most comfortable puppy in the world right now. <laughs> just lying on a couch. Just with like a blanket half draped over him. <laughs> just. He's the. He's the most. He's the most uh, comfortable happy puppy in the world right now. Just. <laughs> just a big lump of hair. I love him. You want to see hair dragon. That's hair. <laughs> Oh, the target's here. Shit. I was so distracted by my dog. Alright. I looked over and I just saw him as like a happy lump of fur. Well, all I'm going to say is that men shouldn't have a mullet, ponytail, and very long hair. Ah, I agree with you about the mullet and the ponytail, but very long hair? Nothing wrong with very long hair and a guy. At least I don't think. But I agree with you about the mullet and the ponytail. Yeah. There's so many kids have long hair past their neck. I don't think there's anything wrong with long hair on a guy or a girl. Uh, mullets, though, terrible. Ponytails, eh, does, I don't think ponytails really work on guys, personal opinion. I had my hair short at one point, and my friend liked the pictures, so that's why they're trying to convince me. <laughs> I like some guys with long hair. I like one guy with long hair. Um... Like a character from one of my shows. Like, uh. He has, like, super long hair. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'm taking out another NPC. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh! Wait, what? The car battery kills? What? Uh, I'm glad you wrote JK, JK, Chazer, because I don't, I don't like, uh, gay as a joke. Like, you know, I, I've got gay friends, um, I'm a big advocate for, like, gay rights. Um, so I'm glad you wrote JK, JK, because, like, I, I don't like gay being used as a, in a negative connotation. Like, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. So, so I'm glad you wrote JK. So this, the car battery kills. I did not know that. Huh. All right, so now. All right, time to re restart the mission. No, 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 you're good, Chazzer, you're good. You wrote JK, JK. If you hadn't written JK, JK, I might have, uh, uh, like I, I've got a, I've got a few gay friends, and they, they would not have, they would have been a little offended by that. So, I try to be very conscious and aware of that kind of stuff. So, like, I don't like using gay as, in like a negative connotation or as a joke, because yeah, nothing wrong with it. In my opinion, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with it. People can be whatever they want to be. Um, but no, you didn't do anything wrong because you know, 
You were just kidding. Like you you made it clear that you were you were kidding. So <laughs> But I am glad you wrote it. I'm I'm just saying like I'm glad you did. Like that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Starting over. So these two guys are not even a thing, so I don't even need to worry about them. Unfortunately, I need to take out all these jabronis again. Our intel suggests the maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. Like, I have my plan. It's just that car battery killed him. It wasn't supposed to kill. I didn't know it did that. Well, I'm very sarcastic, and I do use any joke. I'm pretty sarcastic, too, but I try to stay away from that one. Um, there are a few I try to stay away from, but... Um, what, like, when I'm just around friends that I know are good with those jokes, like, maybe I'll make uh, certain jokes, but uh, only in very specific circumstances. Nope. Oh. Like with my best friend, we make some stupid jokes sometimes, but only when we're just around each other. Alright, go to bed. I don't think this guy will see me. Also... Like, what, the, like uh, that's what she said because of The Office, if you've seen that. Um, I am aware of The Office. I, I, I am aware of the phrase, that's what she said. I'm only loosely aware of that phrase, Chazzer, that's what she said. Um, it's not like I say it every, every day. It's not like I say it for everything. <laughs> okay, I say that's what she said all the time, Chazzer. The Office is probably my favorite sitcom on Earth. Uh, I've seen... Every episode up until about halfway through season 9. And I hated what they were doing with season 9, so I stopped watching. But, uh, that is one of my favorite shows of all time. I love The Office. And that's what she said is one of my favorite jokes. I say it probably too much. <laughs> yeah, I've actually been meaning to do a rewatch of The Office Dragon. Like, I've kind of been in the mood to, to watch it again. It's been a while. Um, I've seen, I've seen the first seven seasons, like, probably a couple times over, but I've never gotten around to watching season nine. At least not the back half. Uh, it broke my heart too much. E legit says it all the time. Watch your name first. Um... I don't know if I'm going to have time for that one, Dragon, because I... I don't know. We'll see. Time is complicated, Dragon. Because <laughs> I'm currently watching a couple of new shows. Uh, not to mention I'm keeping up with all of my uh, superhero shows on the CW. Because they have the big uh, crossover coming up this weekend. Uh, where... The Green Arrow, The Flash, uh, Supergirl, and Batwoman team up to take on the Monitor. And I'm really excited to watch that. Like, it's going to be a three-part uh, TV, like, crossover event. Uh, so I'm keeping up on all of my superhero shows so I can watch that. And uh, also, I started watching um, that, that Sabrina show on Netflix. And I've only seen the first episode, but it was pretty good. And I started watching another show on Netflix uh, called Sick Note. With, um, with Ron from Harry Potter, the, you know, the best friend. And it's actually a pretty good show. I'm, I'm enjoying the hell out of it so far. So there, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I've got a few shows currently under my belt, so I don't know if I want to start a new show, another new show right now. <laughs> if, if that makes any sense, Dragon. Alright, I need these two guys to turn around. They will. Once they walk away, that guy in the room should turn around. It's just one hour and 52 minutes. Oh, it's a movie! I thought it was a TV show. Okay, that, that's a little bit easier. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was a TV show. My bad. 
Well, since it's a movie, that's a lot easier to uh, catch up on. So I will probably have to go do that. And yeah, I am... Uh, I am all about Harry Potter, Chazzer. I love Harry Potter. Expecto Petronas! I am such a Harry Potter fan, it's crazy. Um, I personally am not a fan of The Walking Dead, uh, Chazzer, but it, admittedly, I've never watched it. Um, I love zombie stuff. Uh, I've had too many friends over the years try to get me to watch The Walking Dead. And it kind of made me want to not watch The Walking Dead because they kept insisting that I watch it. If that makes any sense. And so I just kind of didn't end up watching it, like, ever. Hmm, I need to lure these guys away. I wonder if they'll hear this. Nope, they didn't hear that. Alright. I'll have to lure them down the long way. Oh, wrong, wrong door. Alright, I'll lure them down this way. Alright, let's see. Never cared much. All I know is that Hat that sorts you to a class and Voldemort. Alright. Are you going to watch your name now? Because I keep telling you to. Um. Well, I am going to watch it. Eventually. I just don't know if I'm going to watch it. Like, when you want me to watch it. Like, I will watch it one day. Uh, I just don't know when I'm going to get around to it. Alright, so I gotta get rid of that body. Unfortunately, now I need to find the damn target again. That sucks. But at least I know where he goes. Alright, I think he heard that. If he has a question mark over his head, he heard it. Yeah, oh yeah, he heard it. Okay. Alright, let's see. Okay, Dragon. You say best anime movie ever? I already know that's not true. Because I've seen Howl's Moving Castle. Uh, so... It, you mean it's a great anime movie. It can't be the best anime movie. Pretty much any Miyazaki movie is a masterpiece. And I will fight to defend that. Howl's Moving Castle, Spirited Away, uh, all those movies. Yeah, oh, Kiki's Delivery Service. Although, I'm trying to think of what my favorite anime movie would be. Your name is amazing. My favorite anime movie... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to actually really give that one some thought. Like, there are more than a few I do watch. <laughs> hmm. Forty-seven. That man there. He resembles the maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. I'm trying to scan. No, that isn't the maelstrom. Damn it! The maelstrom comes over here. So I need the maelstrom to come over here. Blend in as a customer. I could do that. Yeah, 
Yeah, because the NPCs I need. Oh! I think I see. I think I see him. I think that's him. That wasn't him. No. What? How's that not him? Oof. All right, it's that guy then. All right. Shindo. Is that a movie? God, I'd really have to think about my favorite anime movie. I mean, I know it's a Miyazaki movie, but I'm trying to think of stuff besides Miyazaki movies. <laughs> like, I watch a lot of Miyazaki. Die. <laughs> Excuse me. That knows. There's oh, yeah, I found him. That can only be Wazir Kali, the Maelstrom. That was easy. Confirmed. Yeah, they are random, because now he's wearing a wife beater. So I knew he was wearing a pink shirt the last time I killed him. She might be talking to me, Chazzer. She tells me to die a lot. Like, she's told me to die, like, a like hundred times this month already, and it's only December 6th. So, she might be talking to me. Alright, it's still very unclear who she was talking to, because she might say, be saying that to me or you. I was talking to you. It's unclear. Alright, maybe I need to take him out somewhere else. I mean, I could try luring him upstairs, but there's too many other people he would... No, I feel like this is the best tactic. Get him away from all these NPCs. Not gonna use the car battery as a distraction anymore because apparently it kills people. It gave off some kind of electrical discharge and killed a random NPC, ruining my silent assassin. I did not know car batteries did that. So, ah. Oh, that guy's outfit is sick. Nice. Reminds me a little bit of Altair. I'm sad now. Hey, we don't know who she was talking to, Chazzer. She might have been telling me to go die. Like I said, she tells me to die all the time. Like on a daily basis, she tells me to die. I like how he's making her investigate. Oh, you heard that, did you? <laughs> Damn, so much hate to you, why? Eh! I enlisted hate from and repugnance from all walks of life. Chazzer, you get used to it. After a while. And yes, she is a soulless ginger. Um, that is absolutely accurate. Nothing wrong with it. It's just the reality. Why is that happening? All right, I'm going to wait for her to walk away. So she doesn't see me throw an iron at her. Now she's not soul sucking. She's not a dementor. <laughs> you know, she's not like prison Mike. Or it's like, ah, the dementors. You gotta worry about the dementors. <laughs> Michael, have you ever been to prison? Yeah, yeah, the dementors. <laughs> oh, one of my favorite episodes of The Office. By the way, the Dementors are badass, so that'd be really cool. Bench. 
Also, I have to go walk the dogs in the rain again because my mom's not home and my sister's not home and my brother is too small. Well, I mean, you know. Why do you have to walk them in the rain? Why, can't you just, like, let them run around in the backyard to go to the bathroom? Like, you know, if, if you really had to. Yeah, that is one cute dog. <laughs> All right, so I'm waiting for the target to come back. And I think he brings an NPC with him that I can take out. Oh, okay, I didn't know that, dragon. I did not know that. Well, have a fun walk. Uh, I've been walking in the rain a lot today, so ain't nothing wrong with that. I find the rain to be quite peaceful. Uh, some people have even said that I set fire to the rain. Watched it burst out into flames. <laughs> Ugh. Stretch. Ugh. Ugh. Sometimes you gotta stretch. Uh, probably, dragon. I don't see why not. I set fire to the rain. <laughs> Love that song. I quote it a lot for some reason, because I think it's a badass song. Oh, Chazzer. Chazzer, Chazzer, Chazzer. You can set fire to anything. <laughs> anything and everything could be set ablaze. Um... Uh, a lot of people don't want you to think that, but everything. Watched it burst down into flames. I gotta get that song. That's a good song. It's probably my favorite Adele song. Alright, so my rando dude is coming back. And I think that NPC is who he's gonna summon over here, so I need him to walk further. I think he goes over by that bike. Oh, wait, no. He's waiting for that woman. Okay. I already knocked her out. Check that out. I don't want any loose yep, yep, that's the NPC I need to take out. Damn it, he took my coin, asshole. Damn it, he took my coin and he's still leaving. I am in a... I am going to destroy your world, you son of a bitch. Oh my god. Alright. He just took two of my coins! Yep, you can set fire to anything. Anything. Uh, science is amazing. Okay, that NPC is pissing me off. Okay, so now I need to wait for the cycle to continue around again. Because that NPC wouldn't take the bait, and he took two of my coins! Son of a bitch! <laughs> okay, so while I guess I wait for that to cycle around again, uh, let's go see... Oh, she's so far away though. Ah, I don't want to go that far away, then by the time I come back, I miss the cycling again, so I guess I have to wait. I mean, I, I could take out a couple of, um, Gamer Girl, Gamer Girl 2015-33. Yeah, I probably said that weird. Uh, any tips about what? Like, Hitman tips? Setting fire to the rain? 
Because I was just singing, uh, I set fire to the raid. <laughs> I set fire to the raid. Alright, so I gotta knock out these two dudes. Well, if you're looking for hitman tips, I'm I'm a pretty decent hitmaner, so I could give you hitman tips. As for setting fire to the rain, eh, I'm not terrible. Ooh, nice. Lead pipe. Alright, so hitman tip number one, if you are looking for hitman tips. Also, welcome to the stream, uh, gamer girl. I forgot to say that. Uh, NPCs in Hitman are dumb. So <laughs> they will investigate every noise they hear. Hitman tip number two. <laughs> that. Hit them in the head real hard. Yeah, the, probably the most important thing you can learn about Hitman is uh, learning the patterns. Because the NPCs tend to have pretty consistent patterns. So once you learn the patterns, like their movements, uh, who they talk to, um, you get pretty good at uh, figuring out like where to move, when to move, how to move. And if you play on the difficulties where the cameras can see you, you gotta definitely keep an eye out for the cameras. <laughs> also, fun fact number one, it's always funny whenever you throw something at an NPC's head. It's never not funny. Whether it's a wrench, a lead pipe, a baseball, a fish. So, Gamer Girl, do you play a lot of Hitman? And do I know you on Twitch, Gamer Girl? Because that, that, gamer, that name sounds really familiar. I swear I've heard that handle somewhere before. Um, have, have I chatted with you in somebody else's stream before? Maybe Ryan Haywood's stream? Because I swear I talked to somebody the other day and their 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 Twitch handle was like Gamer Girl something. But maybe I'm wrong. I could be. I'm usually wrong. <laughs> well, in any case, how's your day going, Gamer Girl? You having a good one? As you can see, I'm just playing some casual Hitman. Uh, I'm going for a Silent Assassin suit only. So... The trick with Silent Assassin suit only is nobody can ever... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh. I have a pipe out. Well, I just screwed up Silent Assassin suit only because I was distracted. Uh, that sucks for me. So here's what, you, here's what not to do when you're going for Silent Assassin suit only. Don't walk around with an illegal item in your hand like I was just doing. Because that was a rookie mistake, and I just screwed everything up by doing that. And a silent assassin tip number two, don't do this. <laughs> this guy just messed me up. Damn it. Alright, now I need to restart. Ah, I screwed it up. So that's the, uh, if you ever go for Silent Assassin suit only on Master Difficulty, Gamer Girl, uh, it's so easy for the smallest little thing to screw up everything. So you could put 30 minutes of work into something, you could put an hour of work into something, like setting something up, and then the tiniest little mistake will just make it all pointless. <laughs> It'll take away that victory, and it hurts every time. <laughs> Uh, alright. But, at least I know what I'm doing, so... Um, now that I'm starting over, I can do this a little faster, theoretically. So I need to grab my coins. I need to pull out my fish. Yeah, fish is a great melee item in this game, actually. You can just hit people with the fish. I'm gonna wait for this guy to walk over there. And here, you're about to see why it's always funny when people get hit in the head with stuff. <laughs> because it's always funny. Alright, so he's knocked out. Oh! Uh, another big tip about Hitman. Uh, distractions. Like turning off lights, turning off generators. Um... 
It's a really great way of luring out NPCs and making them investigate. Also, leaving guns on the ground for certain NPCs to find makes them, like, walk away. Which is a real handy trick. <laughs> Alright, he's knocked out. Alright, I'm not going to pick that up. I'll also have a lockpick with you. Lockpicks make it so you can get anywhere in the game. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, so I'm going to drag this body onto the staircase. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, Winterson. Good luck. Alright, so once I get all these bodies out of the way, uh, there's a less of a chance of my silent assassin getting ruined. Because um, people won't just be walking by and they'll see an unconscious body. And when you're going for silent assassin... They can't even see an unconscious body, or suddenly they're alerted to the fact that something is going on. So yeah, they, they can't see anything. Um, nobody can ever be suspicious of you. Uh, nobody can ever find an unconscious body. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's so hard to not want to snap their necks. Like, I snap, like, everybody's neck. The only time you can't do that is when you're going for Silent Assassin. If I were not going for Silent Assassin right now, I'd be killing all these dudes. <laughs> I'd be snapping their necks. I'd be throwing scissors through their brains. Um, I'd be throwing them, like, I'd be throwing their unconscious bodies in the water. Because uh, that's always funny. I'd be throwing them off buildings. Uh, <laughs> there's always the classic silencer to the back of the head. As I will demonstrate... With this uh, television set right here. Boom. Yeah, no witnesses. Exactly. Hashtag no witnesses. You understand, gamer girl. That is Hitman 101. No witnesses. What, and a dead witness is also not a witness. Alright, so I need to clear out the dudes on the roof. Best way to do that is to lure them down here. So if I throw a fish at the ground, that may seem nonsensical, but those guys heard the sound of a fish hitting the ground, and they're going to go investigate. So watch this, gamer girl. Hey, dragon's back. Alright, so this guy right here... Wait, why is he not moving? Huh. Something turned him off of the distraction. Fascinating. That's never happened before. Alright, let's do that again. Okay, he's coming down. I don't know why he didn't uh, continue. That's weird. Alright, he's coming down. So yeah, watch this. You, you lure them outside with some kind of noise. Wait for them to walk past you. <laughs> Fish to the back of the head. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of a fish. Also, I just figured out what, dist what uh, messed up the uh, distraction before. I forgot to turn back on the generator. And so they came down here. Oh, you're out of here, uh, Chazer? Have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping by. I always appreciate it. All right, so yeah, um, there are certain distractions in the world of Hitman where you, uh, you, t you, like, you flood a sink and they go to investigate and you knock the person out before they turn off the sink and other people will investigate the sink, um, which can really mess things up a lot. So, Gamer Girl, uh, one question. How much uh, Hitman experience do you have? Like, uh, you played a lot of Hitman, a little bit of Hitman. 
You play uh, just Hitman 1, you play Hitman 2, you play both of them. You play any of the older Hitman games. Because I am a huge Hitman fan. I'm not going to say it's like my favorite video game series or anything, but I love the games. I think they're really fun. <laughs> Oh, he heard me. All right. Wait for the question mark to pop up over his head. There you go. There you go. Yes. Investigate your doom. Yes. So, Dragon, you walked your dogs really fast. Like, you were not gone for very long. So, your dogs are good dogs because they, they pooped and peed very quickly. Get in here. I didn't say you could walk out that door. <laughs> uh oh. I think I crushed his head on a soda can. But if I... If I don't do this, then who would crush a man's skull like Sparrow's egg between thighs? Points to anybody who knows that reference. All right, so now that I've gotten everybody in this building, I need to go down here. Hmm, I need these guys to leave. I got my brother to walk the little one. I remember that. <laughs> Who will crush man's skull like Sparrow's egg between thighs? You can get it. I just watched. The, I just rewatched this a um, couple of days ago, and they just made a sequel for it that just came out in theaters, like very recently. Wreck-It Ralph. Yep, there's the answer. This looks like a very recent. It was Wreck-It Ralph. That was um, uh, Zengief. Oh, uh, during uh, Badanon. <laughs> I am bad, and that's good. I will never be good. And that's not bad. <laughs> the only thing I ever want to be is me. So yes, you were right. Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph was a rebel indeed. Alright, so now that I've... That there, I know where my target goes. I just need to find him. I don't think this is him. Shame. No. Not the maelstrom. I don't think this is him. Ah! I don't think this is him either. <laughs> ah. No, nah. that isn't the No, nah, he should be over here. He's been over here every other time. It might be this guy, the wife beater. No, nope. that isn't the maelstrom. It's one of these two. That wasn't him. Alright, so it's no. probably that guy. Fortunately I need for him to walk back this direction. Or I need that guard with the white dot to walk past me. Maybe it's this guy. It's never been a guy with a big giant beard before. I knew it had to be him. All right. Those eyes. That can only be with had to be him. The maelstrom. He was talking to the guard. Confirmed. The target is the only one that talks to that guard. So I knew it had to be him. Although this time the target has a big bushy beard. And a great big bushy beard. Points if you know what movie that's from. I doubt you've even seen it, Dragon. But definite points if you know that one. Crusty jugglers. A great big bushy beard. Like, I'd be very surprised if you actually saw this movie. But it's not impossible. 
Look at that guy's beard. It's magnificent. It's glorious. Oh, I, I could only wish to have a beard like that. Oh, I feel inadequate ne standing next to that man. Alright, so I need this guy to walk over here. Then I need to lure away his compatriots. So I'm definitely not going to finish this mission tonight, but I'm going hoping to make some good headway on this mission. So I know I need to lure that chick. So I'll throw a fish. Sad. I need to boost your movie knowledge, dragon. <laughs> Hmm. That NPC is not investigating. Alright. It is Hot Fuzz. Yes, it is. Uh, Dragon. I'm, I don't know if you Googled it or not, or if you just figured it out, but I'm proud of you, because the answer is Hot Fuzz. Yes. One of my favorite movies of all time. I adore that movie. <laughs> Crusty jugglers. A great big bushy beard. That movie is amazing. So have you seen Hot Fuzz Dragon? Ah, you googled it. Yeah, it's it's Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, probably top 10 material. Um, I'd really have to give that one some thought because top 10 is a difficult It's a difficult uh, gauge. Huh? Alright, once she comes in here, I'm gonna kick her ass. I got huh. Hello? Cause I've taken her out too many times. And I'm done. I'm done with it. Good night. Now I just gotta take out that other NPC. And then I'm good to take out the target. I just gotta take out that other random dude NPC. And I just gotta not walk around with a freaking giant lead pipe. Like I did last time. Because apparently having a lead pipe is illegal. Who'd have thunk it? Alright, so I gotta wait for the NPC to cycle around. So while I do that, I'm gonna go take out those dudes on the boat. I take it you haven't seen Hot Fuzz then, Dragon. If you if you Googled it. Um I would it's I it used to be on Netflix. I don't know if it still is. I think it is a masterpiece of action filmmaking. <laughs> huh? But that's just my opinion on that one. Huh. A different dude than normal took the uh, bait. They're all going to wake up in a pile of bodies and going to be like, what the shirt did I do last night? Pretty much. Okay, see, yeah, you haven't seen Hot Fuzz. I didn't think you had. But I was wondering. You might enjoy it or you might think it's the stupidest movie you've ever seen. Uh, honestly, either one could be true. But I find it so unbelievably entertaining. It blows me away. Huh, that guy didn't take the bait. Alright, let's try this with a fish. Don't you be throwing your shit around like that. Okay. What the hell? <sighs> what 
God, Tropic Thunder, I love that movie. Alright. So as you're witnessing right now, it's the joys of Silent Assassin. Where the smallest thing in the world will mess up your Silent Assassin. Ah. Alright, so this guy going the wrong direction and seeing his unconscious friend over here just destroyed my Silent Assassin. So... On that note, I think I'm going to have to end my stream. Um, it's uh, getting a little late and I need to uh, uh, make some dinner for me and my puppy. Um, See, so yeah, unfortunately, as much as I want to stream more, um, I kind of, I got, I don't think I've really eaten much today. So I kind of got to eat. But I want to thank everybody that stopped by. Uh, it means the world to me that anybody would watch me play video games. Uh, special thanks to Dragon Soul of Fire. Gamer Girl 201533, uh, Chazer 006, uh, Theoden Son of Thangle, uh, anyone else? I don't think anyone else was in chat. Uh, but yeah, thank, a special thank you to you guys for keeping me company in chat because streaming is always more fun when you get to talk to people. And yeah, that's um, uh, that's pretty much that outside of uh, my basic closing statements. So yeah, if you're watching this on Twitch, check out my YouTube channel. The channel name is Existential Turtle. I archive all of my past streams there. So, you know, if you ever can't watch a stream live, want to check out some of the other games I play, uh, you ever need background noise, I've got lots and lots of streams uploaded to YouTube. So, yeah, check out some of that if you want to. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Existential Turtle. I stream every day. Um, the times vary a little bit. Sometimes I'll start at 12, sometimes I'll start at 2, sometimes I'll start at 4. Uh, unfortunately, my work makes it so I can't have a, the consistent streaming schedule that I wish I could. Because um, I would love to stream at the same time every day. But if you want specifics, follow me on Twitter, at Easton Roscoe. It's written in the bottom right of the screen. And I always post before I start a stream uh, what game I'll be playing and the fact that I'm going to be starting a stream. So yeah, thanks to everybody that tuned in. As I already said, uh, be sure to check out the new Avengers 4 trailer tomorrow. I'm super excited, so all of you should totally check that out. Uh, I'm just throwing that in there for no reason, because I think uh, Avengers was amazing, and I can't wait for the next movie. And I hope everybody has a good night. Uh, peace. Bye, turtle, uh, dragon. Bye. Bye. Bye.